Orlando leaders are also looking at doing some of the same across the city beautiful. News 6's Nadine Yanis is live at Lake Eola where she spoke to Orlando Police Chief John Mina about this whole situation. Nadine, I'm curious what he had to say. Well, Matt, he said that this new form of terrorism where people just plow trucks into a group of people concerns him, especially as hundreds gather here in the city beautiful for events all year round, like the fall fiesta happening this weekend. The chief says that because of that, the city already has both short term and long term solutions in place to keep people safe. Artists are already setting up and registering for the fall fiesta in downtown Orlando tomorrow. Yet another event where hundreds will gather in the city beautiful. We just do a, a, a good job of staffing those with uh, plenty of officers and uh, most importantly planning uh, for traffic, planning for large crowds and planning for anything uh, that uh, would, would jeopardize the safety of the people who are there. But the chief says in order to prevent an attack like we saw in New York just this week, it's going to take more than just more officers. OPD is now using trucks and buses. Just this past Halloween night, uh, we had large trucks blocking the roadways uh, you know, to keep the thousands of people uh, on Orange Avenue safe. But Mina says the city is planning on even more permanent solutions. The mayor's office telling News 6 today they're in the early process of building permanent barricades or bollards similar to these we saw on Orange Avenue today. The city saying they plan to add these barriers across the downtown entertainment district, which includes Lake Eola. There are other measures that we are looking at long term to protect the downtown area. But as you saw in New York, you can't have bollards or trucks blocking uh, every single street or a society that you know, thrives on transportation. Uh, so that's always a threat or, or a fear for everyone. So here at Lake Eola, we found these concrete lights. These are not the ballers that the city is looking at adding more of. They say they want to look at some hydraulic barriers that will be built into the ground, and they have bids out right now to companies to build them. Live in Orlando, Nadine Giannis, News 6. Matt. Nadine, thank you.